Now we need to look at alley A, but let's take a look at the elevations that are at the station between stations um, 12 and 14, 12 plus 0, 0, and 14 plus 0, 0. Okay, we need to go ahead and change the, the, the band profile because right now it's, it's saying both the, the proposed and the existing are the same. So I need to update the band. So I'm going to click on the band. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do um, profile view properties. When that pops up, go to bands tab, go, come over here and change profile to to street A. Apply and OK. This allows everyone to see what the existing ground is and what the proposed grade is. Now, you don't have to have three decimal places, but I'm not going to spend the time to change that right now. So at 12, the station, the elevation is 82, and at 14, the elevation is at 79, okay? And here, you can see the elevation at, um, at the intersection of Alley A and Street A is 8066. So that is close to the um, elevation at 14. Now the elevation over here we have as 8057. Okay. Now we have to take a look at what the elevation is up here. So the elevation up here is, let's say, 1350. This point right here, 1350, is 8014, 80.14. I'm sorry, 80.18. All right, so what we want is we want this elevation here to be around an 80 also, okay? So we may have to bring, we, we, we can bring it down, since those are both 80s, we could technically bring it down to a low point here, but you have to remember that the finished floor elevations are required to be at least two feet higher than center line. Now, I typically do two and a half feet higher than center line because of errors that might occur in the field if somebody, if some, if we put it right at two feet and the contractor builds it even a little bit less, the, the, the slab less than, than two feet above center line, they have to rip up that concrete or they have to do something different to uh, raise the concrete pad to at least two feet. So I do two and a half to give a little um, leeway uh, in case of errors when the, con the contractor starts to build, build the house pads. All right, so if I do two feet above 80, then it's gonna be 82 and a half, right? So I don't want to take a low point here. I have to make this a higher point so I ha don't have any issues with my driveway sloping down here. Because if I take 82 and a half, then the, the step out into the garage is probably going to be about an 80. So we don't want to be much lower than something than an 80 over here. So. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and create Alley A. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to close that. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to create my profile. I got to create the surface profile first and I'm going to pull this down to Alley A. I'm going to add. All right. So that looks all good. Draw on profile. I'm going to leave all of these, <clears throat> excuse me, as default. Next. I am going to change this to 65 and I am going to change this to um, 95. I like to put about 10 feet above and 10 feet below for pipe networks. Next, I'm going to leave this as is. Next, I'm going to leave this as is. Next, leave this as is and then I'm going to create my profile. Come down here. And I'm going to create it over here. Okay. So now I'm going to create my proposed profile. So my proposed profile has to start at 8061 and has to end at 8057. Oh, real quick. So the question also ends with at this point right here, 83, um, 8339 at station 1172. I need to double check that before I move on. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at 11. So remember what I did before. I did a polyline 
at the intersection here and I got my ortho on I'm gonna come over 72 point 44 and then I'm going to come up here and I need to know what that elevation is right here it should be 8339 if it's not then I need to fix that quick so let me check annotate add labels clicking at the top pull this down go profile I'm going to station equation add I'm going to click on this grid line here I'm going to go shift right click apparent intersection and shift right click apparent intersection here all right so I am off so the end point here needs to be 8279 right so that means this profile I need to bring down so I'm going to click on the profile right click edit profile geometry and this needs to end up being let me move this down oh snapples I have a short-term memory issues so 8278 sorry 82 82.78 can't type either 78 all right now, so now I can see that this point here is 8278. And if I draw a line at the apparent intersection here, and I've just got my ortho on, you can see I end at the same point. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could set a PVI here, but I don't want to since I'm already so close to my intersection value. I do, however, am going to put this on the no plot layer because I like to have this information for me to be able to see when I'm designing, but I don't want it to print. So I'm going to put this on a no plot layer. So I'm all set there. All right. Now, All right, so back to, to alley A. Okay, so alley A, I need to create my proposed, um, surf, uh, proposed grade line. So I'm gonna come up here to go profile, profile creation tools, and it's gonna say select the profile. So I'm gonna click this one. I'm going to call it alley A, A-L-L-I-A. -A. Everything else is gonna be default, okay. And I am just going to um, come up here and I'm gonna do draw with tangents and I'm gonna just pick up, F8, turn my F8 off, up and nearest. Actually, that should have been the end station is EP is thirty three, thirty one, thirty nine. All right. So in this one, what I've proposed is to put in um, beginning elevation. Whoops. So my beginning elevation is going to be, I need to click on this to get the grid. The beginning elevation is going to be 80, 61, 80, 61. And I decided to make the PVI at 31.75. I try very hard to um, put the PVIs at station uh, even station equations like 30 plus 75, 30, you know, 30, 25, things that are even, nothing, I, I try not to have decimal places. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but, but most times I try to not to have the decimal place. And the end we said was, let me move this down, 33, so 33, 31, 39. Well, it would help if I'm actually typing. 33, 
33, 31.39, and its elevation is 8057. So 80.57. All right. And I'm going to close that. Okay. Now, I actually have a typo on that one. Oh, this should be 8150. Sorry, 8150. Now, it has a grade change, an algebraic difference of 1.1. That means 0.51 minus a minus 0.59 gives me the 1.1. So I want to add a vertical curve in here because it's just a little over one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a vertical curve here. So when you're doing your design, if you didn't have a vertical curve, then here's how you create one. When you highlight the proposed uh, profile, come up here on Alley A, make sure it says Alley A. You're gonna pull this down where it has the curve and you're gonna do a, par uh, a parabola. So a vertical curve parabola. You're gonna click on the tangent in, the tangent out, and you're gonna type in 105 and then hit enter, okay? Now, there is my proposed grade. The next thing that you have to look at, I'm gonna go ahead and add, because I like to see the spot grades um, pop up on my alignment. It just helps me ensure that the what I've proposed, the same numbers are matching the intersection values, okay? Where the two, pro, where the two, two alignments meet. So I'm gonna click on the alignment, any number, right click, uh, edit alignment labels. I'm going to go ahead and delete those because I don't need these two. And then I'm going to add back the profile geometry points. Pull this down to say elevation. I'm going to add. I'm going to pull this down to say alley A. I am going to, you can uncheck everything. And then you can, can come back and check low points, begin, end, overall high, overall low, and your grade breaks. Okay. You can always change this. Okay, and apply. Now you can see that these are the same numbers. So I can pull this over and I can just, usually I just set them on top of each other. Undo. I grip edited the wrong thing. Um, you can see where the high point is. Typically, the the uh, the counties like to see the eight, uh, an HP before the letters. Um, I'll I'll do that possibly later in the in the vi the video. All right. So I like these to sit on top of each other to make sure that they're the same numbers. Okay. So they all match. Now. Here's the thing is the next part that we have to do is creating the uh, uh, surfaces for our, um, our streets so we can assign elevations to the front lot grades. Now we talked about doing the calculations. We know what the center line elevation is, right? And we can calculate the percent slope down, the curb and gutter, and you know, in this one it would be, you know, an 11 foot lane, a six and a half foot area of parking, an F curb, um, grass space, and then a sidewalk, okay? So instead of having to do it by hand every time, we can actually use our our, our assemblies and create corridors to do the math for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause, and in the next video, we'll start to do and attach the corridors. We also have to make a assembly for the alley.